Hey, I'm Kev Kev, Mr. Come, welcome back to Barge Edge Control HD. Has last time out, we dominated the rallies with the Hummer. But let's see if we can dominate a hill climb, the KMC Durango ascent around the Coconut Island. So here we are at the start line. Got two laps. With the power in these things, surely they can easily do these hill climbs. That's well, you can't even stick on two wheels, so maybe not. As we get past Looney, he's pushing us into Yarbrough. Spending too much time in the air though. Have to get out of the way, Larry Trim. You're slowing us down there. We're still going up. Thanks for the nice punt. We've got David Beans alongside us. We're up to sixth. So that's a massive jump. Up to fourth. No, we've been pushed wide. Oh, can we actually take this line? No one noticed, okay? Do not reset me, game. I'm on, I'm on the right track. God damn it. Back down to last. So there goes the shocks and clutch. This is where we barely touch the accelerator. In fact, we touch the brake most of the time. We're up to seventh. Ahead of Larry Trim. Larry Trim has gone missing, I think, as we're alongside Pete. Where's this hill gone? Cause he's got everything. He's got jumps. He's got two wheels. Let's up to fifth ahead of Pete. Looks like the lead is getting away though. In front. They've got a group of three behind. Which we're hoping to catch up to. What the hell? As we go on to the second lap. There goes the engine. And it's all, they're all over the place. We're behind Eagle. Yes, push us up. Come on, Looney. Looney, push us. No, Looney. As there goes the tyres and brakes now. Doing everything else. We're down to fifth. Down to sit. Down to seventh. Even here comes Larry Trim, who was missing for half the race. Try and get past us. Let's come on. Can we make it up? We can! With our broken front left. So unfortunately, like other events, when people get stuck on the hills, we won't have that with these cars. There goes to the left rear now. So both of the left side tyres are buggered. Barry is stuck. Did he get past Barry? Yes! But can we make it up here? We, we can, what the hell cam is that? Oh yes, we do! We do! We don't! We don't! We don't! We're just going to have to cheat. Go around in and get reset on the hill, hopefully. Come on, car. We need to get a, high enough up, though, for us to get reset high up. Look at that bunny route, comfortably clearing us. No, that is not a good reset. Oh, we've got the traction, have we? I don't think we have the traction. As it looks like Larry and Barry are just having some fun behind. I do, I do not want to look behind. But we're way behind David Pins and everyone else, says. As there goes the truck. It's good in reverse. I just get the feeling we won't be able to do this though. If how damaged our truck is. No. We're in first gear and we're going six miles per hour backwards even though I'm holding down the accelerator. So let's do a take two I think. Unless you want to see this for another, I don't know, day, maybe. <laughs> At least we're stuck there, so we won't go into the twins behind. So here we go, take two. 
We've been recovered and we've been set up once again for this two lap race. Let's see if we can get away well. Hopefully there's no one slow in front, so we'll have to deviate the line. There is. Igor. Just stop for no reason. Okay, don't be touching anyone. Don't be going in the head in the air like that. What the hell, Hummer? Once again, maybe rate reduction was not a good idea on this thing. So you go just about make it through. But we're in last place. Apparently. As well, look at the eagle landing on someone. There's, there goes the shops and clutch. And then everyone slows down in front. So we drop back down to last. Thanks for that. Oh no, we've got Bryce behind. So there we go. That's a good jump. As well, someone's got destroyed in front. So did we. That's how you jump into third, though. Look at that. Got David Bins behind. Got Barry in front. Oh, we did have Barry in front. Now he just about holds on. So there goes the engine. Larry Trim is leading, though. What a turnaround. Can we repair our vehicles, though? As no, all the tires are buggered though. Anyway, they're looking at right the right hand side. We're buggered. We won't be able to make it up. I don't think. Even though we're in fourth, fifth, sixth, we've just got Pete pushing us. Yeah, we've got to park up and do this again. So we go take three. This may be a very long episode. As so we've got to somehow survive the first set without damaging anything, which seems to be impossible. That's a good start up to fifth. Keep it in third gear. Keep it to the left hand side, remember. Otherwise, we go flying. So we're in sixth. God, do we have to go back down to first, really? We've got Pete alongside. As there goes the shocks and clutch. So I think we've buggered this event already. Yeah, we damaged the right rear as well. I don't think we can do this now. God damn it. Just one jump can really mess you up. But we did well on the ascent. It is still just the right wheel though, that's damaged, it looks like. Was that the left front as well? That's a good jump though. No, that's not. I can see that the left hand side is fine. So there goes the engine. We've got David Bins behind us. It does look like it's just the right rear. Because I don't know where our Hummer is going. So there we go, that's much better over the jump. Can maybe try this. What the hell? Why is he flipping there? There we go, back on track. David Bins, do not touch us. We need to keep the momentum up. There goes an engine in front for Barry. Barry, do not get in our way. No, we can't make it up. God damn it. So there we go, take four. We just need to finish the event. Which seems to be an impossible thing. It looks like Barry's leading, got a very good start. Got a couple of cars slow in front. We've landed on Larry Trim. That's how you meant to do that jump then. You meant to that land on someone. As it looks like Looney's slowed down, that should slow down Eagle. Got Barry in front. We were alongside. We're going for the lead in it so already. We drop down to fur, do we? There we go, we've landed without breaking the shocks. There we go, into the lead. Go, Hummer! And now we've got the major ascent 
Or decent, should I say. That's why Larry lands on us. What are you doing in the hurry? Hummer. Hummer, where are you going? Hummer. Back on the track. No, Hummer. This is our chance. That's there goes the shocks. Someone's flipped in front. So we're up to second. But we've only damaged the shocks. I don't think we've damaged any tyres, which is the main thing. So try and take the lead. Once again, the Hummer's skidding wide, though. Have we damaged the tyre, then? Because the Hummer just seems to be skidding right for some reason. So we go back into third. We've got Barry in front. We've got Looney leading. We've got massive jump coming up. There goes the engine. There's Bryce up into third. Briefly. Looks like Barry's engine's gone, though. So we're getting the lead. Oh, no, their front's gone. Just keep going. We've got momentum. Keep powering, car. Keep powering. You got this. Come on, car. No, suspension's too buggered, I think. As they go to tyres and brakes. Pete, push us. Don't go to the side of us. Ready, but Nick, what have you done, Pete? What have you done? But get back on track. We are on track. So there we go. We've made the first part of these. So we're down in fifth. I just want to finish the event, though. Come on. There you go. Barry, barely any speed over that. Both our left side tyres are buggered. So there we go. The most difficult climb now. We're coming at 20 miles per hour. And we're going backwards at 20 miles per hour. We're stuck. Go on, someone push us. Go on, get in. Are you really getting defeated by a pole? Come on, Hummer. You're better than that. No, it looks like we're stuck again. Looks like Alicia's stuck in front. So there we go. Come on. Backwards. Now forwards. Forwards. Come on, Hummer. That's it. You got no, you not, you not got it. Back again. So to whoever's car that is, or truck. But come on. Oh, so close. Oh, no, that's too, that's too far, Hummer. So there we go. Take five, I think. We were better on that last attempt, though. It was just too adventurous over those jumps. That's the main thing about, about this. Rather than just keep momentum. is trying to keep this chuck alive over those jumps. Apart from this hill climb. And hopefully not have someone crashing into us. We've got Pete behind. We know what he's like. We've got Bryce as well. Just keeping it a solid third. Igor, thanks for hitting us. Igor, what are you doing? So there we go. All tyres are good. All tyres are good. So far, that's a good thing. So we can just fly up this part. We're up into fourth. Now it's this part, though. So there goes the shocks. Not touching anything. Braking for the left hander. I think all tyres are good. We're in third, even though it looks like someone's in front. No, we are third. That's once again the brakes are terrible going into that left hander. Got to remember that. But now we're just carrying no speed over these jumps. This is the important thing for a run on the second attempt. So we can have all four wheels operational. Ooh, what are you doing, Cactus? Let's go on to the second lap. No! There goes the engine. But all four wheels okay, though. That's the main thing. As we go past David Bins, we've got Larry in front. 
We're doing well enough on the first part. You're catching up to Larry. Look at this. I was doing very well. So we are actually fighting for the win. Which I didn't think I would say. And this hill climb, but that's a good jump. No, Larry, slow though. Did not kill us with a hint of Larry. But the Hummer jumps into the D, does it? No. Come on, Hummer. It's got the traction though. Yes. We're going to survive the hill climb part. We've got Pete in third behind. It's once again touching nothing. Apart from the brakes. There we go. We take the lead from Larry. Now let's see if we can survive till the finish. So we go over the jumps. Just going to gun it. We've got Pete in third behind. Larry's really so. Pete's gunning it though. Come on, Hummer. Come on, somehow reach 40 miles per hour. You, I believe in you. 50. There we go. We've just got one massive jump to go to win this. Do not land in the trees. Yes. Yes, Hummer. We've won the event. Man, we had to work for that, but we finally got the strategy down. And we won ahead of Pete with Larry in third. Then we've got Looney in fourth, Igor fifth, David Bin sixth, Barry in seventh, Bryce at the back. As we get the gold, and we get the team calls, the De Jong racing truck. As now we go to the final event for the Mini Truck Leagues, the Trail Rally Ready Open Class Challenge around the Painted Desert Environment. Hopefully it won't take as long as that hill climb. So here we are at the start. We've got wide open road in front. So it looks like we're chasing down someone over a lap and a half. We've got Troy in fourth, Troy Ackerstein. We've got Randy behind. So let's just gun it. See how well we can do. But I do love this environment because we've got all those banks as well to keep momentum going. So it probably won't be much lifting. We go past the mechanics. Hopefully I won't need you this race. If I do, I know I've lost this challenge. So we've got tight left-hander coming up. Actually, that's a bit more open than I expected. Go on, we're not really catching up to Troy, it looks like. He's really gunning it. There's a nice use to the bank, though. This is actually part of the rally stage, isn't it? Let's go under the red ball. That it signals the end of the lap, so on to the second lap now. It's got Randy catching us behind. We're in fourth gear gunning it, and they're somehow much faster still. So we go for the turn. Now we're gaining. God, it took a long time. But still, Randy's catching up again. Going us a little punt for momentum. But there's Troy right in front. Doesn't seem like you have to lift that all on this course. As you go on two wheels, just about hold on. And Rider Buggy pushes us off. Thanks, Randy. Because now we're back down to last. God, it's a very short course as well. Got Ryan in front. At least we won't finish the last. No, that's a terrible finish though. Has Marcus wins ahead of Mike. Randy in third. Then we've got Randy Perry. Then Clifton Slay. Then Troy. And then Ryan. Sorry, you failed the event. But you know what that means. It take two. Let's see if we can do it. As here we are. At the start. Building up the revs. So we don't have to lift at all around this course, it looks like. So get up to fourth and just hold it down. And let's see if we can catch up to Rob Martison. As we've got Bob Graham behind. 
There you go, just use the banks. Don't have to lift. Yeah, sorry, already gaining a bit on the buggy. And we know that Bob Graham behind is meant to be faster than us, so. Let's see if we can do this. It's all not good use of the bank there, a bit out of the groove. Just about hold on, no. There we go, that's a good use of the bank, though. No. As we approach the second lap. Hammer, what are you doing going on two wheels? Not lifting at all. As you're gaining slightly. Again, using the bank. Looks like we're really gaining now. Too much use of the bank. No, Hummer. Why did you think you were a snowboarder? You're not. So there's Bob Graham in front, and now the Hummer's just gone crazy. I'm getting back on track. I did not cut the track. That's the normal line. Anyway, take three. As here we go. Let's see if we can do this. And even without lifting, as you saw, we are barely gaining on anyone. Even though this is a track where you don't have to lift. Maybe that's why. Got to use these banks to keep momentum up. As you've got Rob Martison in front, got Bob Graham behind. But look at that, flat out. Using the banks, lost barely any momentum, and we're still almost three seconds behind. That's a bit wide, that line. There you go, that's better use of that bank. We gained back half a second, in it looks like. Look at that, we gained a second on that lap. Where's the leaders in all of this? There's someone meant to be winning this event, then we can't see them. At all. They are really gaining, though. No, where are you going, Hummer? So we go down the inside of Rob. That's one. Good slide. As you've got Scoob Maloney in front. In third. Where's the leader? I was saying that there's third and second. Where's first? Oh, there's first. Like that third of five seconds in front. So I don't know how I'm going to win this event. Let's to get into third. So we can at least get a podium in it's like. Use that bank. Oh, we can grab second. With Bob King rolling. So that's a good result. We've got Mike in front by a second and a half. And we've got a Mike behind in third. Then Bob Graham fourth. Rob Marsden fifth. But only see it. Bob King seventh after that roll. And Buddy in eighth. So getting close. Should we try and make it third time lucky? As you get the cab. Cab bug. And you've got the Austin Reed racing truck. So we go. For one final time. Well I hope it's one final time at least. But I don't know how you win this. I think second's the best you can get. Because I did not lift at all apart from making that pass on Maloney. That maybe cost us half a second. So we're still a second behind the winner. After all of that. And the Hummer's gone to no man's land. It's going free. Okay, I've tracked down the Hummer. We're going to try this again. Fourth time lucky. Let's get underway. Got Troy Ackerson in front. Ackerstein. Got Dave Turner behind us. So here we go. Let's try this. Keeping that speed up. There we go. Keep it in third through these corners because they're a bit tighter. Is that helping? Not really. Seems to have made no change. As Dave Turner's really gaining on us behind. 
to go flat out, and that's a better line than the previous run. Gonna slightly wide, but barely scrubbed any speed. Missed the tumbleweed. Oh, used that bank way too much. Poor run on this straight. So we're leaning too much on the left, rear, right, rear, left, rear. Really is counterbalancing all the time. Dave Turner's almost on our arse as well. So I don't think we've done it this go. We should be right on the arse of Troy now, making a move. Instead it's Dave making, right on our arse making a move. There he is. Now he wants a fight with us. Get out of here, Dave. But yeah, look at the leader on the minimap. Way in front. Everyone else. How are we meant to win this thing? So here goes Dave for the move around the outside. That worked out well. So we go 4-4. Four, four. We've got Jim Fry in front for third. You can get at least another podium in this. No, Jim Fry blocked us off. Then it looks like he also blocked off Troy as we've got Matthew in front. As Dick McCool won. How can I be a guy with that name? Honestly. With Jesse James in seventh, then Joshua at the back. So we've actually gone third away from our goal on that run. Let's try it for one more go. Make it fifth time lucky. As that's the trophy trucks. So that's totally not the league we're in. Here we go. Here we go. Fifth time lucky. Just got to keep up the momentum on that first part. So we've got Jason Campbell behind. Got Robert in front. He's actually closer in front, it looks like. Less than three seconds back. That's, that's a poor corner. That's a poor corner. We've lost it. Sixth time lucky, should I say. As we rev up, we've got to be perfect on this challenge. Let's look how spread out everyone is in front, but you know... Four, third, and second will group up. Well, first we'll retain that gap. That's all. That's very good in third gear. Get up to fourth on the exit. Get a good run. Have I just got to cut corners? Is that what I've got to stop doing as well? Start doing as well. Is it go cut that corner? It's much smoother, at least. Drift through the left hander. We have gained loads on Wobbert Macbeth. So like someone's gone wide in front. There we go, up to fourth, up to third. This is a very good run. We've got Rio in front by five seconds, though. Let's all turn to the track. And we still got the leader around five seconds in front of them. As whoa, Hammer, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Here we go. Keep it flat out. Don't be lifting. But that killed our momentum. And that has killed our shot at winning this. We can still grab second, but we can't get the lead now. As like I said, you've got to be perfect on this. You can't be making mistakes like that. Trying straight on the corner. There we go. That's not bad. Straight run over the jump. Get out of the way, tumbleweed. There we go. Try and straight line that corner. So we do finish in third. And I think that's the best we can do. I'm going to have to do this after the recording and then try and win it and then. Hopefully for the next episode, I would have eventually done this. I don't know how long that episode's going to be, though. It could be years, months. Because this is going to take a while. Dan Edwards wins. With Rio in second. We're in third. We've got Brian in fourth. Dell fifth. Robert sixth. Jason Campbell seventh. And Andy in eighth. So another bronze. And hopefully I have this completed for the next episode. And then next time out, we're going to the full-size trucks. 
which are just trucks but bigger. Can't wait for that. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, this restraining episode as well, but I had some good fun as well on the hill climb and the open glass challenge. I'm sure I can do it. I'm sure I can get a perfect run and I'm sure it will be fun as well. But thanks for watching and I will see you next time.